Hey guys, today's video is going to be a full face makeup look on Wet n Wild products. Everything I have is Wet n Wild, even the brushes. The only two things that are not Wet n Wild is this um, makeup sponge from Real Techniques, as well as my brow product is from Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, of course. Also, this is going to be my first impressions on these um, makeup products from Wet n Wild, as well as this sponge. First time using them. If you don't know about Wet n Wild products, they're a drugstore brand. They're very inexpensive and their products are amazing for their prices. Also, you cannot forget, they are cruelty free, so that excites me even more. Like, I love animals, so that's a great thing right there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, well, the first thing I'm going to do is put this on my head we're gonna go in first with the eyes and i'm going to use tape i'm going to put the tape on the back of my hands so it won't be so tacky to my skin since the eye area is sensitive and i'm going to put the tape at an angle like this i put the tape here so it'll be easier for me to do my eyes I'm going to use the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Concealer as my base for my lids. And I'm gonna do this with my finger. I'm just going to take a powder to set my eyes okay so the first thing I'm going to be using on my eyes is the wet and wild I think these are the single eyeshadows um, in the color 252 C nutty that's the color right here hopefully you can see it I'm going to put this in my crease as well as the outer corner This shadow is kind of like a brown, has a little shimmer, just a little, nothing crazy. I'm going to go in with another single from Wet n Wild. It's called Panther 255D. It's a black. This is only going to go in the um, outer corner on my lid and a little bit in the crease. And I'm just gonna keep on doing the same thing to pack it on until I'm satisfied with the color. I'm only gonna bring it to the middle of my lid. I thought I wasn't going to like putting the brown this shade right here, the nutty, because it shimmers a little bit. But I honestly love how the black looks on top of it. That's how it looks now. But I'm going to take another single from Wet n Wild 250B. It's called Sugar. Sugar, sugar. I'm going to use my finger, a white shadow. I'm going to put this on my inner lid. I honestly love using my finger to apply certain shadows because they do make it more intense. It makes it pop more. For the other side now. I'm not putting no shadow on this brush, it's just from before. Okay. Now I'm going to take the tape off. And 
and that's how it looks. So now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. First time using this, so let's see. Okay, it's a white cream. It feels good on the skin. It just feels a little tacky, but that's good because it will hold the foundation in place. In the back, it says Magic Potion. It claims it will refine pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, even skin tone. See, when I first use things, I get um, kind of always like, mm, okay, let's see. I don't know because it's my first time using it. Just wanted to, you know, keep my foundation in place. Next, we're gonna go in with Wet n Wild. Well, you may know it's Wet n Wild since this is a Wet n Wild full face, but it's Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and Bronze Beige Medium Tan. Oh, I like the wand. This is nice. Me likey. No, it smells like paint a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot. Not lie about that. Use my real techniques. It honestly feels good, but let's see how it applies my foundation. Okay, I have to do this quick because it seems like the foundation dries quickly. Honestly, like the flat head, since I can just go like this without touching my eyeshadow. The sponge is doing a great job applying the foundation. The foundation is medium coverage and it still looks like skin. I'm gonna put a little more. Honestly love this sponge. I thought I wasn't gonna like it. I'm so used to my beauty blender. I'm like, no, I cannot like anything else. But, I do, I do. I still love my beauty blender though. Always bring the foundation down to your neck as well as your ear. You want your makeup to look seamless. I'm going to do my forehead now. Bring it up to your hairline. Now we're going to go in with Wet n Wild Concealer. It's um, light ivory. So let's put this bad boy under here. It doesn't have that paint smell like the, found the foundation. I mean, the foundation is really strong, the paint smell, but it's not. Going to go back in and use the tip of the um, sponge and blend. Liking the concealer. It looks very nice. It's not cakey, but it's not dewy as well. I love products that are dewy since, I'm, since I have dry skin. But even though it's not dewy, it's not emphasizing my dry spots and it's not getting caked up. Let's put a little bit more though. Now we're going to use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. It's in 823C Neutral Beige. This is it right here. I'm going to take the powder brush from Wet n Wild and use this bad boy all over my face. You wanna set your face when you're, when you're gonna do bronzer or contour or anything like that because if your foundation is tacky, your powders will look patchy. 
another brush to set my under eye so this will not crease or well, I think they're like a dollar to these brushes and they are freaking amazing okay, I'm going to use this bad boy right here it's the mega glow contouring palette in Dulce de Leche in 749A. I'm gonna use this one right here. Now I'm gonna put it all over. Blend this bad boy out. I like how it applies. Okay, I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to contour just a little. This right here, I'm going to use it for my brow bone. Now I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild Color Iconic in the color Pearlescent Pink 325B. Ew. Okay, it comes with a little brush, but I'm not gonna use that. This is the color. Now I'm going to take my brush, blush. It has little sparkles in it. I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheek. And blend it in with the bronzer. Ooh, me likey. You can see the little shimmer, but it's not bad. So it actually looks beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Petals, the number 321B. This is how it looks. I love the imprint on it. Now I'm going to use their fan brush as well. I'm going to highlight these cheekbones, you know. Oh, I'm going to bring this color closer. Yes, give it to me, honey. Oh, I hope you can see this highlight. Because it is beautiful. I don't even want to hit the imprint on it. I'm going on the side. I'm gonna put the highlight as on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Just a little something something. On my cupid's bow as well. Now I'm gonna take the highlight and use it in my inner corner to give it some bling, some pop. Now, I'm going to go back and with the eyeshadow, the black one, and I'm going to go to the, the lower lash line and just smoke it out a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. This is it right here. First, I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna go in with mascara. Now, 
You can leave it just like this and put some lip gloss on or you could put a nude. I don't have a nude, um, I don't have a nude wet and wild lipstick. So I could just leave it like this and put some lip gloss on. But I kind of want to see how it looks with their wet and wild lipstick in 967 Dow House Pink. I just want to see how it looks. So that's the color. I seriously love this color. Last but not least, I'm going to use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. It says All Day Wear. That's, this is how it looks. On my forehead. My overall opinion of these products, brushes, hands down, I love them. They're very inexpensive. They're like a dollar or two. The makeup products, the I honestly don't have anything bad to say about none of them. Only I have two dislikes on the foundation and it's only the smell and the smell honestly goes away. I cannot smell it now. But in the beginning, it does have a paint smell. Other than that, it goes away as well as it, the um, tackiness, but you just have to set your face and that's not a big deal. For the pricing, it's like $6. Everything I apply to my face, except the, um, um, the sponge, I'm talking about the makeup products, everything is $6 and lower. So you cannot complain. I mean, I'm not gonna complain because this is very inexpensive and it honestly like how it came out. Well, that's it. I'm done with this video. I hope you enjoy. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the people that are watching. I honestly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And if you have any questions, if you wanted to say anything, please never hesitate. Just comment below. I will write back to you. Every makeup product that I used in this video will be in my description below. Also, if you have any recommendations for another video or products that you would like me to use or whatever the case is, just comment below and let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and bye. Okay, now I'm going to go in with... If you don't know, if you don't know, well now you know. Hey guys, today's video is going to be... If you don't know, Wet n Wild is a drug. Drug.